In this video lesson, we're going to take a look at the aggregate supply and the production possibility curves. And on the left, we have our long run aggregate supply and our short run aggregate supply curve, price level and GDP. And to the right, we have our production possibility curve, capital and consumer goods. At equilibrium price level and GDP, this represents full employment. All resources are being fully employed, which is the in-between point between capital and consumer goods. So this represents letter B on the production possibility curve. If resources are unemployed, we would be inside the production possibilities curve, which would also represent letter C. Also price level one and GDP one. If we have new resources, which would be outside of the production possibilities curve, this would represent price level two and GDP two. And this would represent letter A for the production possibilities curve. If price level one and GDP one ends up becoming a permanent new change, we will have a new long run aggregate supply curve and we'll label this LRAS1. And this would also not only result in a permanent new price level in GDP, this would also shift the production possibilities curve inward, moving downward as this curve, our long run aggregate supply curve, is also moving to the left. If price level two in GDP two end up becoming a permanent new change in society with permanently new resources, our long run aggregate supply curve would move to the right. So this would not just be a short run change, it would now be a permanent long run change, creating this as long run aggregate supply curve two moving to the right, our GDP is moving to the right, and it's also going to be moving our curve outward. We would be moving to point A, both capital and consumer goods are now going to be increasing. This curve is going to be moving upward. This is a result of an increase in long run aggregate supply, a permanent change in resources, GDP will increase and our production possibilities curve will move outward.